Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Northwest Craftsman. Behind me, you can see the brand new chicken tractor that I just built and the last step is to install the automatic chicken door because if you're like me, I like to automate as much of my life as possible so that I have to do as few chores as possible. Recently, Chick Cozy sent me their automatic door so that we can give it a shot. This is gonna be a full review of it. I do wanna acknowledge they did send it to me for free. So this is gonna be a review as we're doing the unboxing and we're gonna see how well it comes together. All right, here we go. So the first thing that I do on all of my unboxings is to pop it open and show you guys exactly what you're going to see as you open it up. So right here on the top, as you open it up, you've got a very quick, quick start guide for the installation. They give you the quick and easy steps of what you need to know. This works really well if you already have basically a flat panel or plywood or something you wanna mount it straight up to. I had to modify it a little bit, but you'll see that as we get later. Then they had the full blown instructions manual, which has all of the details you need from the tools, what's included in the kit, and just the full blown instructions. So if you wanna see how to operate the keypad or anything else, um, that's everything that you need. And again, everything that's in here is also on a quick start guide, but if you're more the type that just wants to get to it, the quick start guide is plenty. After the instruction manual is this sheet of stickers, which has a whole bunch of different chicken species on it. Kind of cool. Not sure what I'll use it for, but stickers. Once you take off that piece of styrofoam, the door itself comes out in basically one big monolithic piece. There's really no assembly to it at all. It just comes in ready to go. Looking at the construction of the door, it is made entirely out of plastic and the doors open sideways. There are some other automatic doors which open vertically, so I'll be curious to see how well this works. Underneath this little styrofoam in the back is the batteries and the screws and a plug. I can't say I was legitimately surprised that I got Duracell batteries, not some off-brand batteries, but here are the screws that you need to mount it. And then here's a plug in the back. If you happen to have power to your coupe, you can plug it in so that you don't need to blow through batteries. And that's everything in the package. Uh, let's go ahead and get to the assembly of it so we can see how it goes up. So as you can see on my chicken tractor, I've got a slightly different situation. I want the door to go here, but I've got all the ribs that I need to deal with. So what I'm gonna end up doing is putting a piece of filler wood in that bottom rib so that I can fasten directly into that. Alrighty, but before I do that, I need to make like a chicken climb in the coop and cut out that hole. Um, they give you the exact dimensions on the instructions for how big you need to cut it out so it's not hard and it is just perfectly square. So if you can mark out the corners, then you can jigsaw it, you can angle grind it like me on the sheet metal or any other way that you wanna try and cut it out. Now that the hole is cut out, if you've got a flat panel, you can basically just mount it straight on. But I need to create those filler pieces. And so I just measured out that flat portion on the center. And if I was doing it a little bit more intelligently, I would have cut a miter on either side so that it hugged those ribs a little bit better. However, lessons learned for the future. That's not here nor there, nor is it anything on the chicken door itself. With everything ready to mount to, it is time to get the chicken door ready. First, you're going to pull off this weatherproof cover and then install the batteries like you would expect. And yes, that is my breath you see, it was that cold while I was filming. Once you get all of those batteries in, you should see the screen light up showing that you've got power applied properly. As it boots up, it'll start to show your battery percentage and when it's planning to close. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and replace this weatherproof cover so that everything is nice and set and ready to go. Next, and as it sits right now, there always could be a firmware update in the future, so check the instructions when you get it. But the first thing you're gonna do is you click OK to turn it on, and when you click and hold it for about five or six seconds, it starts to do a calibration run, which opens and closes the doors twice so that it knows how far open and how far closed it can go. Next up is super simple. Go ahead and close the doors and it will expose the six screw holes that you can use the included screws to attach it to your structure. For me, I am going to attach it to these pieces of wood that I put on. But for most of you who have fully wooden chicken tractors, you should be able to screw it basically straight to the structure. Next, I wanted to make sure that the door would open without binding on any of the screws that I just put in. And you can do that by clicking and holding the OK button for three seconds. It will count down on the screen to show you when it's going to open. And in this case, you can see on the bottom left, I had a binding screw. So I fixed that and then it was all good to go. And by fix that, I mean I had to add a little bit of extra backing so that it had something to screw into. Next, I wanted to walk you guys through the menus that you can expect to see, but trying to film a screen is notoriously difficult, so I'm just going to try and read these off. Basically, it's going to walk you through the different settings. It's going to show you what the light setting is now, when you want it to open, when you want it to close, and if you want any opening delays, closing delays, and then just some of the other settings and defaults and kind of resetting it. So initial impressions right off the bat before using it. Uh, I'm concerned that this groove is going to get filled with chicken junk and have a hard time closing. Also being made out of plastic, I'm curious to see how the longevity of this will be. Um, there's plenty of durable things that are made out of plastic in my life, but who knows? I have actually had this for a month already, and so here's what it looks like now. So here we are about one month later. The door is working actually, hold on, I gotta shut this door. The chickens are trying to get out. 
One month later, the door is working beautifully. It opens when it's supposed to, it closes when it's supposed to, opens easily back and forth, it stops. We've had a chicken try to roost right in that doorway a couple of times, and we've just come out at night and it's just open right on them, and it just shows door uh, something detected. Basically, it detected a chicken there and it didn't close on the chicken, so all works. Um, all works great, and one of the cool things that I like about it is on the screen, I don't think you can see it very well from here, but on the screen right here, it will tell you what the light level is if you go through and do the adjustment by light level. So if there is a time of day you want your chickens to go in and out at, depending on what that light level looks like, you can just come out here and basically say, yeah, I want it to happen right now, see what the light level is, adjust it to that light level, and then boom, back and forth. I think my wife and I adjusted it once or twice, and now it's just set and it's worked every single time. Even with the incredibly, incredibly blistering cold weather that we had this last week, I know that not in the future everybody's going to see this, but across the whole U.S. everything was like below freezing or below zero for most of last week, and the battery is still doing just fine. I think after a month I'm at 80%, which I was frankly shocked that I was only at 80%, um, given how much we're using this just day in and day out. So overall, huge win, definitely worth the money, um, especially if you want a chicken door. So. There we go. So full disclosure, I was sponsored for this video. They did give me, I mean, basically Chick Cozy gave me the door so that I could do a review on it, but I was in the process of building the chicken tractor. Anyways, we were planning on getting an automatic door, so this was just perfect for exactly the timing and what we needed, and I thought you guys might appreciate the review of this particular product, especially if you're trying to make your life just a little bit easier and a little bit more automated when it comes to uh, your homestead life. If you guys have any questions about the door, go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below, and thank you guys for joining. Really appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Bye.